said that it did get me thinking in general right about um how i guess um what's that word called how can I meh I'm feeling about nice out in recent times? And I think a lot of it may have to do with my lack of involvement in it, maybe, right? Maybe I think if I'm being really self-aware, I think the fact that I'm not playing as often as I would like to, the fact that I'm not going to do mixes and record them at Pirate Studios, like I said I would as often as I would like to, um, and just the fact that I'm not just involved as I probably was in the past is just a little bit annoying. But I did make the decision myself. It wasn't something that I was kind of pushed out into doing. I did purposely make the decision a few years back to kind of stop promoting and not doing parties anymore because I was just wanting to focus more on doing kind of my DJ stuff. And by proxy, I kind of did promote my own parties because in order to play, I kind of had to book myself and whatever it may be. But um, that's what I kind of focus on doing. I went to perfect my craft, get better, and then obviously grow and develop and obviously, you know, get better and get you know um be able to get better bookings and whatnot and travel the one do the things that i kind of want to do in that kind of space for however long i want to do it but in general there is an aspect of also getting involved that would involve me because i haven't even done this yet which would involve me you know actually setting up and doing the zine i've always wanted to do which is kind of a nightlife scene exploring all things about nightlife i'll be talking about you know crazy shit like drugs and drinking and you know going out and key you know maybe hot button topics of, around nightlife in terms of abuse maybe in terms of representation whatever it may be i'll just kind of i wanted to always create that kind of like zine little thing that i'd kind of just leave at record stores just just a kind of like um just a sort of like um a kind of a project that i kind of make for myself do you know what i mean i'm um, nothing that i'm kind of looking to kind of you know become the next idea magazine but just something that i think i would love to see if i popped into like phonica records i saw this little zine that spoke about nightlife and that was kind of you know funny informative and just kind of clearly came from somebody that gave a shit about the thing that most people probably don't give a shit about right because i actually do give a shit about nightlife i'm reading news about stuff around the world and whatnot and i care about it in a way that i probably shouldn't be caring about it if i actually had a life and friends but hey this is the place that we're at but anyway i was thinking about the my met attitude towards nightlife and stuff and one of the things that kind of is really something that i'm still kind of getting to grips with and i kind of feel a bit cringe about is the whole like techno nightlife attire thing that whole dressing that people do when they go out and i feel like it rubs me up the wrong way because it's more of a personal issue because i remember when i was growing up i was always the kind of um i would like to describe myself it's a bit cringe to say but i'd always describe myself as like the alt kid right in my area right the alternative kid because you know i grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood with predominantly black friends and i was the only person that was into like you know um listen to indie music you know punk wherever maybe metal going to metal festivals wearing band t-shirts skateboarding all that kind of nonsense kind of like typical non-black stuff right and for the most part what i really annoyed me about it was that on one side of things when my black friends i'd get teased about it which is fine because it's just you know they didn't really know about it or they weren't really exposed to it so i understand that but on the white side of things i'd also get dirty looks and kind of be treated as like a poser because i never dressed like them I purposely didn't want to look like them. I didn't want to turn up like to a skateboard meetup wearing like a blueprint t-shirt or something. Do you know what I mean? I kind of went out of my way to just dress normal and not dress like a typical person that's into that's into going to like Camden Underworld or something, right? That's wearing patches all over his damn track and shit. I try to go against that. And it always used to annoy me whenever you'd go to this kind of place and you see all these people who clearly think they're very unique and special and different, but they all look exactly the same. There's nothing unique or different about them at all. It's kind of the typical hipster thing, right? trying so hard to be different but you're actually the same as everybody else or everybody else is into your little niche and then obviously the little infighting things are going on and i feel like in recent years especially in techno there has definitely been a, a especially in techno maybe in nightlife in general there's definitely been an increase in people clearly going out with more of a of a of a kind of defined look a, a look that you would maybe ascribe to maybe like cities like berlin where people take nightlife very seriously and when they go out they go out as a form of expression as a form of um protests as a form of liberation whatever the word is fucking is right they did they use nightlife as a kind of canvas to kind of tell a story or whatnot right whatever it may be and um but then you don't really see that it wasn't really a thing that was common in london you obviously saw it a lot in the kind of queer lgbt kind of scene there was a lot of that going on in terms of people actually dressing up going out in jog straps going out with ball gags latex harnesses blah de, blah 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 but in recent years it felt like it's become a really popular here in london like people are going out like and really going for it but there's also a part of me that kind of feels like a lot of it is a bit posery is a bit cringe is a bit performative is a bit lame right just pure lame and 
for whatever reason, even though I know I'm performing because I go out in my fucking Rick shorts and my Rick shoes or my New Rock boots or my all black Jordan 4s, whatever I'm wearing, my Dr. Martins, my double sole Dr. Martins, my Jaden boots, I'm sure I'm also somewhat being performative or whatnot, but I don't know, man, just feels like being surrounded by people in a club that looks like that just kind of rubs me up the wrong way a little bit. And it really shouldn't, I know, but it just does. And what made me think of it was this, this label called 44 Label Group by the world-renowned DJ Kobolsi, right, who's also a resident was he a resident at Bergheim? Or did he, or did he got quit? He said he got kicked out. Yeah, that's him, right? I'm pretty sure Kabosi is the one who got, um, who got, um, who's not a resident anymore at Bergheim because he went through that whatever scandal in terms of him allegedly inviting, you know, um, women of the night back to the DJ booth or something. I don't know. Something happened, right? Something happened and he, and he basically got kicked off the residence program. But anyway, he's got a very popular sort of like um, label that he does and also a merch that design that he does which is called 44 Label Group. I'm sure you've seen people wear it with the logo on the back. It's pretty sick. Um, Teletech in the UK have kind of done a similar sort of thing with their logo on the back. So there's a lot of these kind of, you know, techno labels out there. There's another one as well called NACT, N-A-T, N-A-K-T, which a lot of people take the piss out of, NACT Berlin which is very hipster very cringe um they take themselves very seriously despite the clothes they make being pretty average and bog standards and pretty much overpriced but still there's a been an upsurge i feel like in that kind of clothing in recent years and obviously this being another great example of it with Kabosi, you know world renowned dj basically doing the same thing with his kind of clothing and creating this specific clothing for people who like to go to nightclubs and for me it's just even when i say it, it sounds so so disgusting it's like it's like making skate wear skate clothes that only skateboards will like is a bit cringe i would prefer you just make good clothing it's like reason why i love supreme so much because supreme just make good clothes regardless so even if you read um interviews with james jebbia from the past he will say the reason why he set up supreme is because whenever he went to skate shops he felt like the standard of skate clothing was really bad and he felt like the skaters deserved better than that right because they were he felt like very cultured they obviously people that cared a lot about their product um they had good attention to detail and stuff they were just you know in, in, in te- um, insanely cool in general so he wanted to obviously provide them with some level of clothing that kind of matched how he saw them in his head but it wasn't him coming in there and providing them with like better skate clothing or skate wear it was just no i'm going to give you better clothing in general here's a better quality t-shirt here's a better quality polo it's not going to have fucking trucks printed on the back but it's just going to be a cool polo with a reference that you would get if you know if you know kind of thing and i feel like club specific wear is a bit too much on the nose right it's these like even my glasses i had them in my bag and i was so cringed by the people around me that i was out on the weekend i couldn't even pull them out of my bag to wear because i felt so ridiculous right <laughs> and i feel like that's what kind of genre specific or niche specific clothing does because it's very specific to the group it's like these go fast glasses kind of these oakley um karen uh you know blue lives matter glasses that everyone's kind of wanking over these oak which is quite funny to be honest the fact that you know this alternative scene this underground scene that's very left leaning that's very lgbtq queer friendly has adopted the glasses of people who are predominantly right right leaning don't believe in you know don't believe in abortions are very much anti-gay or whatever it may be, especially when it comes to their own family. Uh, but it's obviously been copped in the scene. But anyway, that's regardless. So it's all that, it's all black, it's all leather. It's all, you know, com, com, combat sometimes here and there. Small t-shirts, belts. Um, I don't know, just stuff that you generally see people wear in a club. I just feel like it's a bit cringy. So this is a little clip taken from 44 Label Groups, Full of Fire, Spring 2023. Uh, sorry, Spring 2023 um, yeah, collection. For whatever reason, the comments are turned off on the, on the video. So I'm not sure what's going on. I think the comments might have been brutal people taking the piss out of it but i thought this was incredibly cringe but also very smart in the for someone like a cobalcy right because you know dj career is not forever i don't think so i don't think any dj should be thinking about playing forever anyway you should be using it as a means or as a platform to do other things if you can play forever fair enough but i don't know so it, it feels like a wasted a wasted opportunity in life to kind of just do that only because you're getting exposed to so many different people you get to all these cool, cool places you're getting paid an obscene amount of money to what well, for the job that you're doing given you know the kind of level of work and whatnot you should be using this opportunity to kind of build and do other things whether it's setting up a label an agency um opening up a bar a restaurant whatever getting involved in you know in real estate that should be the way to do it and obviously if you're a convulsion you could do this collection you could just just keep churning out these fucking pretty mediocre nightlife kind of 
clothing, then I'm sure people are going to keep swallowing it up. So it's definitely smart on his side of things. But for me, as a fan of this culture, it's a little bit cringe, I have to be honest. But this is a video I'll play quickly so you can get a viable what it's about. And if you're watching on the audio, it's just a general fashion show. Um, from what I can see, actually, which is quite interesting, I'll put it right on the screen, I'll put it. The setting, I think this is in Milan because I think he is also backed by the New Guards group. I'm pretty sure. Don't don't hold me on that, but I think Kapos is also backed by New, which is the same company um, that was backing Off White. And the look of it kind of looks like a typical Berlin nightclub. I think the front of it is meant to mimic Bergheim, kind of, with the black kind of cladding in front of the entry before Bergheim was reopened during the pandemic and all the graffiti around it and shit. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And obviously, you just got people coming out in various black attire, basically. So you're not really missing anything if you're just listening to this. Point seven twenty P. Don't get me wrong. Oops. Don't get me wrong. This look is pretty sick. There's a look in here which is like a grey look with like a skirt or is that a skirt or big shorts. I think that look is pretty sick. It's kind of like a. The, the hoodie is really nice too because it's sort of like a, a two-piece hoodie with like a hoodie on top that's been cut on the sleeves and on the body and then one bit is like dyed it's like over dyed and the other bit is like regular color it kind of reminds me of something that um, Matthew Williams did for Givenchy recently but that looks pretty nice I do like the look of that but overall do you really need to have 4-4 Labour Group do something like that for you to purchase it or could you find this somewhere else do you know what I mean that doesn't really need to exist that's the kind of thing I'm saying and then they've got the Kanye rain boots as well that everyone's wearing. So I'll just pause and just scoot around a bit so you can see some of the looks. But yeah, I just don't know. I think part of me feels like nightlife wear is a bit lame but maybe i'm in the minority here so if you are a fan of nightlife wear and um, you know i mean club wear in general then please let me know in the comments down below i'm not going to post pictures because i was going to just you know post pictures of people that i've seen online that wear this kind of stuff but it's not fair to have people random people online and just take the piss out of them in that regard but you know the kind of person i'm talking about the people that wear mesh pvc you know straps and shit and ball gags i don't know some for some reason it feels like people like that when you put a uniform on they feel as if they're like way more legit because they have a uniform one it's like not really though you look like everybody else in the queue do you know what I mean like especially if you're buying your shit from Amazon it's not exactly counterculture do you know what I mean you're not exactly sticking it to the man you're not exactly shocking people with your shit you know what I mean you want to shock someone with your shit like actually wear something really offensive wear like a fucking make America great hat again or something do you know what I mean um, wear like a t-shirt that's pro Putin um, wear like a what, what's his name Xi Jinping the, the Chinese president flipping memorabilia or something you know what I mean let's let's really go for it if we're going to go for it but I thought the actual show of it was pretty cool the fact that they made people queue up and look like a fake a fake like a fake nightclub is really nice um, that's I guess makes some sense in it he's probably got his own music playing as well as a soundtrack so that kind of is a good little tie in I'm sure some people would like it I'm sure there's many kids around the world who aren't as cool as the people I kind of go um who are kind of stuck who are kind of um cross paths with when i go out sometimes i'm not going to count myself on that but the people who i see out i'm sure there's other kids who just watch this from afar and just want to wear this and look cool amongst their little friends in berlin in belgium in switzerland and shit places like that right where they're not really in this kind of super hardcore cool trendy shit i'm sure they'll lap this kind of thing up so that's kind of, it's probably for an international consumer base it's probably not for even someone like me or the people that i maybe i'm associated with or around so that probably makes a lot of sense but in general i just don't know man i just don't know it cringes me out it makes me feel like shit seeing it everywhere and seeing everybody kind of thinking they're really doing something by wearing this sort of stuff out in the clubs and they all look the same i'd much rather see people actually wearing fashion pieces that like actually having a sense of style actually looking like they're giving shit about what they wear instead of just putting uniforms on but again you know who am i to tell people what to do in their lives in it who am i but maybe i'm in the wrong maybe I'm in the minority if i mean i am let me know in the comments down below what you think i'd love to hear your opinion <laughs>